Shalom, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we must acknowledge our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, uh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, uh, for allowing this word to come out. I hope you sincere. Uh, brothers and sisters are truly, truly, truly um, edified by today's word. And um, we're going to name this word during your darkest moments. The Lord will shine on you. Uh, let me say it again. The name of today's word is during your darkest moments, the Lord will shine on you. OK. Um, I hope you sincere brothers and sisters are truly, truly um, edified by this word, man. And again, we must acknowledge our heavenly father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Um, today is the Sabbath day. Uh, later on today, Lord willing, me and the elder uh, will be bringing you the Sabbath service. Uh, but this morning, man, um, I was inspired to uh, do this word, man. Um, I think that in life, sometimes uh, we're not conscious. You know, we're not conscious of um, the dark moments that uh, we as people go through a lot of times when um, you find individuals um, going dealing with dark moments, they don't have an outlet. They don't have a healthy source to turn to. Like a lot of people don't have um, the ability or have the comfort um, to turn to the Lord or, or rely on the Lord, you know, when they're, um, um, when they're going through um, their hardships, when they're going through um, their darkest moments. If you live long enough, you will um, experience a dark moment or you will experience dark moments, all right? Um, lately, man, it's, it's been a lot uh, going on in the world and um, I don't watch the news um, I pretty much don't watch the news, man. I try to stay away from it because there's so much unfortunate things that's happening. Um, and, you know, s certain things happen. It, it, it's, it's, it's very, it's very um, vexing of the spirit, so to speak. When we're talking about dark, darkest moments, right? Like I said, if you live long enough, um, you will experience it. So if you haven't experienced a dark moment yet, live, live <laughs> long enough and, and you will. And I don't, I don't wish that on anyone, but it just comes with the territory. It comes with, with life. Um, one might ask, what's an example of dark moments? Um, an example of dark moments is feeling lost without direction. That's kind of like one of the obvious ways you can look at dark moments, feeling lost without a sense of direction. And I think, you know, like I said, I've been there several times, you know what I'm saying? Um, another example of dark moments is a moment of bad luck or um, a moment where bad things happening to you. OK, um, you get to a point in life where you feel like, damn, man, nothing just don't seem to go right. You will you will go through that. You will go through that. But, you know, over time, you will overcome it. But, um, yeah, another example of dark moments is, you know, having a moment of bad luck where you just where you feel like, man, I just can't win or, you know, bad things happening to you. You know, it could just be. Uh, bad timing. I mean, you could, I mean, it's, 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 it's a tricky situation, man. But if you live long enough, like I said, you, you will have those dark moments, man. Um, another example of dark moments is tragedy, uh, tragedy and misfortune. Um, a nine year old was just killed here in Milwaukee a couple of days ago, you know, and I'm, and prior to that, a 10 year old was just killed. Uh, from a straight bullet um, while she was asleep, man. So um, imagine what the fa those families are going through right now. Like it don't get no darker moment than that, right? Even in that moment, 
even though it's probably the darkest moment you'll ever be in in your life, if you have faith in your how through his only begotten son, your how shot, please know and understand the Lord will shine on you. And that's real. Um, another example of dark moments is struggles and hardship. A lot of us um, will go through certain struggles. It could be financial struggles. It could be uh, relationship struggles. It could be um, identity struggles with self. Um, just struggles and hardships. You know, sometimes we lose jobs, you know. I lost a good paying job uh, in February and I was able to recover from that uh, since then. But, you know, um, we all have our struggles. Some of us struggle with addiction, whether that's drugs, substance, alcohol, whether it's food, obesity, um, painkillers, whatever it is, man, you know, you will have your struggles, your hardships, and those line up with, you know, um, dark moments, okay? Um, so, in Isaiah uh, 60 and 1, it reads, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of Yahweh is risen upon thee. See that? So, when it talks about shine, first of all, it says, Arise. Pick yourself up, you know, don't allow yourself to be in the dumps. Don't allow yourself to be low. Pick yourself up. First of all, arise. Just like how the sun rise. Pick yourself up. That's number one. It says arise, shine. Okay. So when we're talking about shine, metaphorically speaking, shine is speaking in, ter in terms of a person that's feels defeated, a person that is faint, a person that's faint, a, per a person that's overwhelmed, a person that's weary, a person that's fatigued, a person that's defeated, okay? When it says shine, it's talking about you recovering, recovering from whatever dark moment, whatever dark space you're in, recovering from that and becoming bright, not allowing, in other words, not allowing your darkest moment to truly define who you are. Like I said, man, you know, it's, it's, it's people really, really going through it right now. And please understand for those who are really going through it right now, have comfort and know the Lord will shine on you. You dig? Um, trust me. Um, we, we've all been there before, man. And some of us are currently, somebody might come across this video and might need this word because they're really going through it and they don't have a sense of comfort. They don't have a sense of direction to try to understand and overcome um, some of these moments, man. Um, but like I said, you live long enough, you will... Um, Go through dark moments, man. Uh, in John 8, verse 12, it reads, Then spake Yahweh again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. See that? To me, that's a very uh, com comforting scripture, man. Yeah. But see, before... We expound on John 8 and 11. Let's go back to Isaiah 60, verse 1. Bear with me, brothers and sisters, um, because there's another point that I want to bring out here. Um, so in Isaiah 60 and 1, and it reads, sorry, fellas, um, arise, shine, for thy light, okay? So again, when it talks about shine, what is it dealing with? It's dealing with metaphorically someone that's faint, someone that feels defeated, someone that's really going through it, that's overwhelmed. It's a time for you to recover and become bright. 
okay? And then it says, not only arise, not only do it say shine, but it says, for thy light is come. What light is it talking about? Happiness, clarity, relief. It's coming, man. So please understand. Arise, shine, pick yourself up, shine, man. Come up out of that darkness, for thy light is come. And the glory of Yahweh is risen upon thee. Cold-blooded, man. And again, in John 8, 12, it says, Then spake Yahweh again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Okay? So the light that is speaking about in John 8 and 12 is the light by which you gain true life. Okay, so whatever it is that you go through, you have to have a spiritual component as part of your life. You can't allow yourself to be in the in flesh and deal with your darkest moment. You got to have a spiritual component to that. And when you have that spiritual component to that, that's where your Howard, through his only begotten son, your Howard shy, is going to come in and lead you in the right direction. So the light that is speaking about when Yahweh Shai say, I am the light of the world. He is the spiritual navigation system, a.k.a. He's the light by which true spiritual life is gained. You dig? And it says, he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. What darkness is this talking about? The darkness is talking about is being ignorant of divine things, man. So when you're going through your darkest moments, don't resort to things that's going to make it worse for you. Don't resort to things where Satan will lead you along, along or where Satan will lead you down the wrong path. Salakium, excuse me, y'all. Because when Satan leads you down the wrong path, you're going to be indulging in wickedness and then you're going to find yourself really dealing with misery when you're in that dark moment it's going to ramp up to an excruciating difficulty of misery because you're you're you are allowing your dark moments to overcome you and that's why the light we got to be conscious of the light you see in Ephesians 5 and 8, man, as we get ready to close this thing out, man, it reads, For ye were sometimes darkness, but now ye are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Okay? So the ultimate light that you want to have, brothers and sisters, is <clears throat> having that wisdom and communion with Yahweh Shai. When you have that during your darkest moments, that light will shine on you. That's all I got for you, brothers, man. Um, I hope you sincere brothers and sisters were truly, truly edified um, by this quick word. Please understand, man, during your darkest moments, the Lord will shine on you. You have to believe that. You have to have faith. And trust me, man, um, don't panic. You know, when, you, when you're dealing with a dark moment or dark moments, um, it's just part of life. And if you're able to overcome those dark moments, it's going to make you a stronger person. So anybody out there that's really going through it, pray to your Howard through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Persevere. Be patient. Get you, you know, find you that spiritual space where you can meditate. Just be in a quiet space. Sometimes, man, if you just get yourself in a quiet space, and just sit there. Sometimes it might be 10 minutes, might be 20 minutes, might be two hours. Sometimes, man, when I'm in my personal spiritual space, man, I sit in the corner. There's a particular corner in my house where I sit at. And I'll sit there until I get what I need, until I hear the Lord speak to me or the Spirit speak to me and speak to what it is I'm dealing with. Sometimes I'll sit there for 10 minutes. Sometimes I'll sit there for two hours. Sometimes I'll sit there all night in the dark. So when you, when you 
dealing with dark moments, understand and know the Lord will shine on you. Please understand that. Please understand that. Um, I have this thing where, man, I have to be, um, what do I call it? What's the best way I can say this to you, brothers and sisters, man? You have to have seasons where you have a spiritual cleansing, okay? A spiritual cleansing is where you're rebooting your spiritual system. You're, you're knocking out all the wrinkles, all the debacles, all the roadblocks, all the things that can hinder your walk. Sometimes you have to spiritually cleanse and take a, take a break and reanalyze your spiritual self, reanalyze where the engine light is on in your spiritual life, diagnose it, fix it, and you're back rolling again. So even um, God-fearing individuals, you will have dark moments as well. And you got to understand that the Lord will shine on you. So if there's anybody through, out there that's going through something, listen, man, have faith and know the Lord going to shine on you during your darkest moments, man. Stay tuned. The Sabbath service will be coming later today, Lord willing. I hope you sincere brothers and sisters were truly edified by this word. All praises, glory and honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai for allowing this word to come out, man. Stay tuned. Word.